I am um, a little bit about myself. I don't work for Cause for the Cause. I'm a volunteer. I've met them, I think it was in 2010, maybe. They are pretty much one of the few fosters uh, or yeah, rescues in town besides the Humane Society. Uh, most of the dogs and cats come from rural areas in Kentucky. They are either being dumped or spay and neuter is not a thing in a lot of, you know, well, in America, it seems like all the shelters are overflowing and you keep nodding because you are a volunteer as well yeah. with a different organization. We're trying to raise awareness for the company or for the organization who falls for the cause and try to get people to foster. Um, if you can't foster donations, there's always things needed, whether it's food, cleaning supplies, bleach, laundry detergent. They go through about 100 pounds a day. Those need to be washed, dried, folded, all of those things. Food, um, anything can be donated. They need everything all the time. Um, we are looking for fosters currently for cats and dogs. We brought Chewy today and she is patiently waiting or, no, she's, she doesn't care right now. <laughs> she, she's perfectly fine. She's so fine. A little bit about Chewy, she's three years old. Um, again, looking for a foster. And when, when you foster, you're just prepping that dog to be in, a, in an environment with their forever home. Um, whether it's with little girls, um, I just figured out Chewy is, doesn't mind kids. Um, she also was great in the car. Um, I was a little nervous because I just met her this morning and with the name Chewy, I wasn't really sure <laughs> if she gonna chew my car or my arm off, but she didn't. Um, so she's a perfect little addition to a family. And again, foster doesn't mean any obligations for you to adopt. Um, you're just basically prepping those dogs or cats to be in a home environment. Um, so they don't, they get very nervous in the shelters. So that's mainly our focus, to get them fostered and adopted out um, as soon as possible to make room for more. We sent several to the vet this morning and to fosters and are getting 12 more in this morning. So it, it wow. just keeps on going. The van went out this morning at six to go to Estill County to get more dogs and cats. This one's from a hoarding situation and the dogs are in bad shape. So it gives me goosebumps talking about it. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you have the great, a great time at boot camp. And I really, really, really appreciate you guys having us this morning and I uh, hope to see you again. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm right out there with Chewy. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Thank you.